Experts say even cash-strapped companies should continue advertising if they want to remain in the forefront of consumers' minds. Paul Hobbs reports. So, I just booked Robin Carroll tickets to Canada. When the country went into lockdown, that trip and virtually all business for travel companies like Flight Centre dried up. It had to act quickly to cut its costs. We probably reduced our marketing spend by over 90% um, of paid advertising. It's not alone. In April, during lockdown, advertising nationwide dropped almost 40%, twice the level seen during the global financial crisis. It's definitely the dilemma, isn't it? You know, why are we spending on this when potentially we can't sell? But this business advisor says keeping front and centre of the customer is vital. Attention is obviously what everybody's chasing. Uh, and if people don't know who you are, then they're not going to come and engage with your business. Forced to stay local has meant products servicing our home life have fared well. Any products that sit on supermarket shelves have done really well because of the nesting nature that Kiwis are doing, uh, finding themselves in, um, just home improvement things, um, small appliances. The way people are thinking and acting is changing so dramatically and for marketers and advertisers and businesses need to really understand where that market is going. Companies like Southern Cross are getting alongside their customers in different ways to keep their brand out there. With you now means with you forever. The advice from the experts is overwhelming. Businesses simply can't afford to disappear from the minds of their consumers. One piece of research suggesting if businesses turn off for six months, it could increase their recovery time threefold. As a business, you need to be brave and you really need to take the bull by the horns. You can't quiet your way to success. Flight centres focused mainly on shopfront advertising for now. When we're ready, we'll come back um, and we will be ready to start promoting and making sure that we're top of mind for our customers. For when the world slowly opens up, Paul Hobbs, One News.